Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with a fabulous, wonderful 10 CD set, yes, of all of the Bach major choral works produced by Channel Classics with the Netherlands Bach Society, Jos van Veldhoven, director. These are mostly splendid performances, and they were all reviewed individually on ClassicsToday.com. So you can go over there and read the extensive reviews by my colleague, David Vernier, who really knows his Bach choral music. And he's extremely fair about these performances. The one thing missing is that when these were originally issued, they came out with the most fabulous, extravagant, gorgeous books. I mean, they were packaged in velvet with like hardcover and notes and things and artwork. And I just could not believe what expensive first-class productions they were. Now, sonically and artistically, they are still first-class productions. But, um, you know, you don't get the additional packaging. That was really special. That was first class all the way. Anyway, so here they are, more ex inexpensively, in this 10 CD set. And what do we get? We get the St. John Passion um, in a very small scale version, by the way. Some of these are very minimal forces, not quite one to a part, but minimal forces. That is, to some extent, vitiated by the fact that Channel Classics provides very warm and lovely sonics, which helps beef up the sound where the where the two T's come in. But some of these things are distinctly small scale. And if you don't like small scale period things, especially the big Bach choral works, that may be something to give you pause. And so I want to say it right up front. On the Magnificat, the Magnificat has got some interpolations as Bach originally had in the original version of the Magnificat in E flat. But this is the revised version in D with the interpolations reinterpolated with music by other composers, not by Bach which makes it kind of interesting. Really, actually, Bach's interpolations weren't so much by Bach either, were they? But it doesn't matter. These are like works by other composers, including like Svelink and people who are around, you know, in the Netherlands. Why not? It's a beautiful performance. Oh, it comes with a cantata too, about laughing and things like that. Okay. Then we get, let's see, the B minor mass. Again, this is, I think, just too small for the B minor mass. I mean, it's almost, it's almost one to a part. Not quite just needs to be bigger and the big choruses and the Sanctus and the Ozana. And I mean, come on, you know, but it's beautifully done. Of its kind, it's a magnificent performance. It really is. The St. Matthew Passion is terrific. Um, really first rate. And it, it, it has the scale. It has the necessary bigness of, of, you know, I mean, you have to with the St. Matthew Passion. I mean, it's got double choirs. And, you know, there's a certain minimum number of people you're going to have to deal with no matter what. So that was good. Um, the Christmas Oratorio is quite lovely. A very beautiful Christmas Oratorio. I mean, that's, and that's what you get in here. Um, I just want to make a point of saying, first of all, uh, let's see here. Oh, here we go. Um, about the soloists. The soloists are mostly extremely fine. They really are. The only one who's not great is this person named Johannet Zomer, who sometimes is beautiful and sometimes she just sort of seems out of sorts. Um, she's kind of the weak link in the soloist. But as far as, far as the rest of them go, um, they're really pretty terrific. Let me see who's particularly good. They've got a couple, a couple of really fine, fine, distinctive soloists. Peter Harvey, the bass, first rate. Absolutely first rate. And there's also, in the, in the uh, St. Matt here, we call it that, St. Matt. You know, we're, we're on a first name basis with St. Matt. There we go, St. Matt. Um, let's see, Charles Daniels. Oh, Matthew White. Yeah, it's very, very good alto thing person. Um, and let's see, who else have we got here who's really good? Um, Scott Wellstead, tenor is quite good. Um, and uh, who is, let's see, Pilot and all these people, Pontius and and uh, Elena Pozhidaeva was quite good and Alistair Carey. Yeah, they're really good. They're really good. It's just this Johannet Sommer person who's, I think, lets the show down a little bit in these solo works. But otherwise, otherwise, this is an absolutely first class set of, of Bach choral music. And I'm actually, even though all the, the glorious, like, you know, beautiful packaging is missing. I'm very happy that Channel Classics decided to box this stuff up and release it so that it's more widely and generally available to be savored by Bachians everywhere. So if you want to get your Bach up, um, you could 
and hardly do worse. This is a very, very fine box, and I recommend it accordingly. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care. You could hardly do better. I said not hardly do worse. Hardly do better. Yeah, I got myself tangled. Keep on listening. Let's let's stick with that. That I get right. Take care.